ladies and gentlemen, I am happy to report back that I found a film that is better than Inside Out from last year. Alright guys, so, Room. In Room of all the story of five-year-old Jack and his mother who have been locked in this one room for approximately seven years, and I'm not gonna say anything else because it legitimately spoils the rest of the movie, and I do not want that to happen for you guys. Going into Room, I had average to high expectations. I hadn't known much about it going in. I only knew what I just told you, as well as that it was getting a lot of Golden Globes nominations, as well as uh, talks for the Oscars, so... Finally, I got a chance to see it, and how was it? Well, let's find out. I am glad I was able to see this movie because Room is currently my number one film of the year. From beginning to end, you are 100% invested in this story just by the two main leads in this movie. It, it's so good. Brie Larson and Jacob Tremblay give some of their best performances to date. Now, I haven't seen Jacob Tremblay in anything else, but let me first talk about Brie Larson's character. She did a very good job here. Definitely my favorite performance of her. She was very good in this role. You can tell like how much emotional distress she has gotten due to just being like stuck in this room for seven years. And it's, it's hard to watch at points because it's just so like grueling and you feel so bad for her character but the real standout in this movie Jacob Friendly this kid's nine years old he is my favorite actor of 2015 last year this kid knocks it out of the park in this movie you mainly see everything through his eyes from the film and I thought that was a really wise choice on the director Lenny Abraham's decision. I thought he, it was a spectacular choice. I thought he did a phenomenal job. He better get nominated for an Oscar because Quaventure A. Walsh got nominated when she was like 11, I think. And if she can, then if, if, if Annie can, then this kid must get nominated for an Oscar. He might not win, but I really, really hope he gets nominated as well as Brie Larson because the performances in here are absolutely perfect. Like, I was gonna say phenomenal, but perfect. They're so good. They're done to a T. Lenny Abrahamson's direction here is really good as well. The scenes when you're st stuck inside the room makes you feel very claustrophobic in that you're with the- you're with these two main characters and the entire situation and you feel like so nervous like, are we gonna get to leave? Please? Can we please leave? And I'm not gonna spoil anything, but there's a skyline in the room, and some of the uh, more aerial shots are outside, I guess you would say, of the movie. Also look very beautiful and are really well done, so I gotta give Abrahamson props to that. I really want to see his other movie now, Frank, because he does a phenomenal job at directing this. The movie is adapted by a novel written by Emma Donahue, and just with this plot alone, like if you just read the plot, the concept is very intriguing, and I don't see why you wouldn't, like, want to see this movie. And if you haven't seen Room already, please check it out. You're probably going to love this movie. Not Maybe not as much as I do, but you're certainly going to think it's a very well-done movie. And with everything that happens if it, in a two-hour runtime, it goes by so fast. And this is probably the one, in my opinion, masterpiece 2015 has brought in us. Overall, no crap, I'm gonna give Room an A+. Thank you guys so much for watching, and until my next review, I'm Mr. 411 I will see you all later.